So as you can see, we've got a bit of a problem when we go into reverse. These um, steering rods are actually quite loose. I think this one of them is really, I think it might be on this side. This one's really quite loose. There's oil leaking there too. Um, and so when it goes, it's got, it can move like that. And uh, basically the steering mechanism up there just needs to be fixed so that it can't do that. <clears throat> so we'll have to take the uh, deck off. So taking the mower deck off um, is pretty straightforward. Um, we have to pull the chute out. Uh, so this chute comes out, it's just got a couple of pins here. So that's pretty straightforward. And then um, we need to take this off, um, which is just the guide to stop the um, mower deck belt coming off. And once you've done that, then there's just a, these pins on either side. Pull that out and the whole deck drops, drops down and the front belt comes off. So, uh... So there we go, the deck's off, uh, pretty quick and uh, painless. Um, not hard at all. I've, over the years I have replaced, uh, I think, every single bearing on the top of this. And, um, and the belt once as well, that's in 11 years of this mower. I think the learnings from that is you don't, you don't wash your mower, don't need to wash the top of the mower because any, any water that gets in it, um, just goes down into the bearings and ruins the bearings. So I reckon the real issue is here is the slop in these uh, bushings here. You see there's just a huge amount of slop in, and it's on both sides. And so double whammy really. One as well, look at that. It's the whole bolt moving. It's not just the bushing. Um, it's not just the bushing. You can see the whole bolt is moving. So we need to tighten the whole thing up or and then put a new bushing in there. The whole thing needs to be done. Right, as you can see, the, the fronts here, these are all good. I've actually replaced these um, once each on either side. This one's the new, brand new one. Um, they're a little ball, ball joint at the bottom. You can see there, but uh, these are, they seem to pop out after a period, quite a lot of force in that, and uh, then you pop them back in, but they just don't last. Um, this one's not that old either. This is, I think the other side is a newer one. This is the side of the older one, but uh, there is some play. No, the play, the play is all at the far end. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is actually take this uh, linkage out here. That's uh, to engage and disengage the uh, mower blades. Um, and so it's just really getting at this clip here and pulling that out. It's probably going to be harder than it looks. There we go. It just comes down, there's a wash on the back of that. Right, so I've got the whole assembly out of the uh, lawnmower there. So this is the uh, steering shaft here. It comes through onto this scaring plate here and see these that goes to the drums. You can see the play in that and the play in that. And that's where the problem is, you're pushing forward you go backwards and it just pushes the wheels out. It doesn't need much either. Um, 
So we'll have to fix that. We'll get some something in there, some new bushings on, on both of these to stop that. We also need to stop the play from turning because that doesn't help either. Um, they can the up here at the ball end can do the can do that. It doesn't need to fluff around like that at all. See here the plastic bush or the nylock bush has just collapsed. Now we can also see that um, the hole is definitely ovaled out a little bit and that's not going to help either, quite a bit. Now the problem with this one is the bolt is just going round and round and round it's not turning anything so it's obviously stripped in that part right there so i've got a few ideas how to reconnect the steering arms um, to this um, but the first thing we really need to do is actually cut this off this nut just goes round and round on the bolt and so that's stuffed um, and as you can see from the top here they look like they're they're pinned through and welded on that so uh, first cut that off and then we'll grind that off and see how to get this out um, and then once we've got that out we'll have a look at a few of the ideas I've got here to, to put um, a new pin through <music> able to uh, get that off it didn't want to pan through from this side for some reason as soon as I took this side off it uh, fell out so let's do the other side
So what I've done here is uh, put a coach bolt story there. I'm still going to have to take the top of that off because it's um, still going to interfere with the uh, the top of this. But I'll just quickly grind that down a little bit, and that should be that bit done. And so we've got a new bolt through there. So with lots of thinking and lots of mucking around I've come up with this which is um, it's a coach bolt um, gone through the hole with a nut on the back of it to hold it in place then a washer um, and then I've got this nylon nylike um, which is cut to the right size that fits over top like that and then I'll put another washer on over top with a nut to hold it all together. And because the nylock is actually thicker than the, um, sorry, not enough hands, <coughs> because the nylock is actually slightly thicker than the blade and the steering rod, you can see there I can tighten the top bolt down as hard as I want and hold everything in place. And there's literally no movement in that at all. So that's what we've done there. So really now that part is to put it all back together. Um, it'll be interesting to see how long these last. I mean, it is only turning slowly, like, you know, that sort of thing, so it's not like it's going round and round all the time. So I have this back together now. Um, you see there, the, those have got the nylox in, be, in between those, and that's all nice and, it's all nice and tight, and it all just works nicely, so that should uh, be good. So the next thing is put this back onto the ride-on. Um, one other thing I noticed though when I was pulling it off, it, um, it's actually held by four of these through the frame uh, for two on each side, plus there is one bolt like this that goes through, that connects up through the middle there like that, um, I'm to the bottom of the frame. But um, what I found is that there's only two of these um, in the frame, not four of them, so uh, it, this whole thing was actually quite loose. So I've actually... Uh, screw through my nut and bolt collection and um, I'm going to put um, these grade 8.8 .8 bolts with nylocks on them uh, and replace um, these tech bolt type things which you know good for one time only really but then loosen out and uh, don't last and just obviously just uh, backed out over time so uh, I'll uh, need to drill out the holes slightly because these are slightly bigger you need to bolt them through um, so that's probably the next task.
it's very easy one bolt one bolt there and one bolt underneath and then on this one bolt underneath same on the other side so we're just about ready to put the updated steering linkages back into the uh, ride on but what we need to do is uh, hook hook the brake and the drive connections up first before we bolt it up 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 up, up into in there so that'll be the first thing to do get those on because they're too hard to do because they sit right up up into in there and they're too hard to do so we'll do that got the steering shaft in so it's just sitting there down there and we'll be able to slot that in afterwards um, there's quite a few other little linkages and bits and pieces but they can be all done afterwards um, yeah so let's get into it Well, I got that through bolt which is that one down there so that's through um, you can see the bottom plate there um, the black one underneath the red one so that's what we're bolting up <coughs> So I've got everything hooked up here, um, kettle's back connected, um, got my spring, there's a spring just up here, connects to the, uh, there's a spring up there that connects to the brake pedal to pull it back, got a spring over here to engage the blades on the mower, um, and that pulls that, that lever back, um, here's the main nut, up here where it holds the spine to the drive and obviously all that gearing to drive these so now the last thing really is to hook hook these up to the front wheels and we should be just about there <music> Well, I was thinking I was going to have to uh, do the deck up again, but um, since I've stopped washing it, it's holding up really well, actually, considering. Um, you can see there's a big plate in here that I've welded in, because that all broke and rusted out. Um, there's some welding over here as well that I had to fix. But everything looks pretty good. Might clean up, get some of the grass off. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything to do here, we'll just put this straight back on. thing we will do is uh, sharpen these blades up while we've got this off. Um, looks like they could do definitely a good, good sharpening, so... We'll... <laughs> Thank you. 
I was about to slide this back on, but I noticed this belt is just about shot. Anyway, um, I do have the old belt that I replaced quite a number of years ago, and it's like it's not perfect, but um, no, it's just right on. And uh, I think at this stage, I'll just put the old belt back on and throw this one away, and um, possibly get a new one at some stage in the future. This is relatively easily to get it on. So basically this front needs to be hooked into there, get the blade, um, the belt on, and then all you do is clip these into that which is the up and down and that's it the one thing you should do is take the spring off so you got some because you, otherwise you have to pull the whole thing back so the only thing left now is to put that spring click it on there which I, I wish I generally do with a piece of rope I pull it pull it backwards with a piece of rope as I get close and tie it at the back and then push it down and click it on take the rope off that's pretty much it Sorry about that, I thought I had it recording, but there you go, um, I just used a piece of bowling twine and pulled it backwards um, and pushed it down. As you can see, the uh, cut off piece, I just leave the piece of bowling twine caught on there because it's too hard to pull out. Alright, that's it, other than uh, let's put the catcher on and then we've got the chutes to put on. And then we're done. Because you can't adjust the toe any more than what it is, because um, it's either one way or the other way. But set, I'm going forward very well, so job done. <laughs> 